Welcome back guys. Okay, today we're going to look at the calculating the equation of exponential function. And when we do that, we're either going to use this form or this form. Because why? We either going to have a P or A, not both of them. Why? If for example, if I look at this equation, you will see that your A value and your P value is technically the same influence. So I can break this up to 3 times 2 to the power of X using my exponent laws so therefore take the two values together so it's 3 times 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of x this is 4 times 3 so times 3 is 12 times 2 to the power of x can you see my p value and my a value are influenced in the same way therefore we either use that one or this one so let's look at examples so if we look at this function um, this graph I might tell you to calculate the equation we know what is my asymptote my asymptote is my Q value so it's going to be 6 so therefore we're going to have y equals a times b to the power of x plus 6 then I substitute firstly in the y-intercept point where x is 0, y is 4. So y is 4 and a times b, x is 0. Okay, so we're substituting that point first plus 6. So if I take the 6 to the other side, it becomes negative 6. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 1 times a is a. So therefore we have a value. My a value is equals to negative 2. Substitute that into my equation. So we're going to have y equals negative 2 times bx plus 6. Now we substitute in the other point. And the other point is 2, negative 12. So y is negative 12 equals negative 2 times my b and what's my x value? my x value is 2 plus 6 if I take this positive 6 to the other side becomes negative 6 negative 12, negative 6, negative 18 equals minus 2 times b to the power of 2 to get rid of the negative 2 I divide both sides by negative 2 so therefore I'm going to have 9 equals b to the power of now I use exponent laws so I'm going to go both sides and place it to the power of the opposite of 2 is 1 over 2 okay, okay so I square it by a half both sides so b 2 times a half is 1 so it's b to the power of 1 or just b and then 9 to the power of a half is 3 if you don't know you say 9 to the power of 1 over 2 and I get 3 so therefore that is 3 so now we get our b value therefore our b value is 3 now we have the a we have the b therefore we have the function we have the function is y equals a is negative 2 times 3 that's my b x and we know our q value is plus 6 and there's my equation okay that's when I have a y-intercept and a point and the asymptote. Let's look to the other example. Okay, if I look at example 2, they give me an equation halfway and they tell me there's a point and the asymptote. Now they want you to calculate the equation. So we substitute in the asymptote into that equation. So we have fx equals 2 to the power of x minus p and we know my asymptote is my Q value in this scenario it is 2 then I substitute in the point that is given point is 3 3 so Y is 3 equals 2 to the power of X and my X is also 3 minus B plus 2 okay now I solve for P Okay, so now I solve for P. Take the 2 to the other side becomes negative 2. 3 minus 2 is 1 equals 2 to the power of 3 minus P. And we know anything to the power of 0 is 
1. So 2 to the power of 0 is that 1 equals 2 to the power of 3 minus p. Where do I get a 2 from? There's a 2, so I want to make a 2 to the power of 0 to make it 1. Okay, so the 2 falls away, so I got 0 equals 3 minus p. Take the negative p to the other side becomes positive p equals 3. So therefore we have the function fx is equals to 2 to the power of x, not plus 3, but the opposite sign, so it's going to be minus 3 plus my asymptote, that is 2. Okay, your homework. Yeah, so there's your homework for today. Number 4 on six, page 61 and number 2 on page 63. Number 63 is only number A, not number B. And then tomorrow there's no video, but you can continue with homework. And that's exercise number 3 on page 63. Okay, so this is two days homework. Check in the videos for Wednesdays. Have an awesome day.